Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Linux uh, command line scripting. So far I have discussed about uh, sort, unique and uh, various other commands in my previous episodes. In this uh, episode I am going to discuss about uh, an interesting command called as NL and uh, it is not so frequently I have used but uh, I have recently discovered it is quite useful in terms of your command line scripting and uh, there are special cases in case you are a network admin or uh, even a uh, programmer you may use nl command in terms of uh, processing your uh, file dumps or log files and then uh, or else if, if you are uh, importing some sort of csp file into a database or something like that so nl command is quite useful uh, to you know add line numbers uh, to your uh, csv or text files so it just uh, adds you know lines uh, to your text files as the way you know format you specify so i can just uh, give you an example it is you can just use nl and you can specify a uh, sort of uh, you know uh, uh, width where this uh, number should start so you can just specify number uh, number of uh, columns of for the width as well as you can specify what is the separator you need so minus s and you can specify the separator and uh, you know you can just specify the separator whether it is space or comma or something like that and uh, followed by which you can you know specify the file name so this is not the case uh, which most of the times you may use actually you may use uh, really like something like you know cat command and then you can just do abc.txt and then followed by which you can have your uh, command line constructs and then followed by which you can just use this nl command with all you know various options so what it makes is uh, it adds you know line numbers uh, to your file so you have a file you know with multiple lines and uh, with this nl command you can specify line numbers and uh, it is quite very useful in certain special use cases uh, something like you are importing into a database of a specific uh, you know csv uh, file dump or something you can just use this uh, you know line numbers like a serial numbers or some sort of employee uh, code uh, just before you are uh, you know starting to you know populate your database uh, you know which is imported from some some kind of you know csv file and uh, it it has also special uh, cases like you can also find the nth record in inside a csv file it is almost equivalent uh, of processing uh, uh, with an sql command in a database as such whereas in a csv file you can use you know using the nl uh, almost like you know you can uh, find out the line number or the record number where in which a specific record is uh, you know uh, occurring as such so you can just do this and then uh, you know before doing this in this uh, place you can just do a grep and uh, you can kind of filter out your results as such. so let me just uh, take you guys uh, to my uh, desktop and let me just show you some real examples where you can use it in your system so also you can anyway find various other options in uh, you know man pages but the intent of these videos is all about uh, showing you some real use case uh, scenarios where you can use these commands in you no know, day to day basis hey guys uh, welcome to my desktop guys uh, as I said, uh, you know, in the whiteboard discussion, you can anyway do man page and uh, figure out uh, all its options. But, uh, you know, my, my idea of uh, these videos is all about uh, showing you some real world examples so that you can use them in, you know, in your day to day basis. So what I have done is I have created a small, uh, you know, CSV file, something like this, uh, mydb.txt. In this, you can assume it has some sort of uh, rows of employee and then uh, their ages uh, or something like that so, so what you can do is uh, you can just use this nl command and you can introduce uh, something like employee code or something like that so without any options uh, we can just try that so as you can see here it adds the line numbers but the problem is we need it in a specific format you know say for example i don't need this uh, initial uh, spaces which it has inserted so we can just eliminate them with minus w and you can just choose any options something like this you know i'm sorry let me just try without a space yeah you can just see here it has eliminated uh, you know the you know leading the spaces before introducing any line number and then followed by which it has also added some more additional space i think it has added some kind of you know tab or some uh, i think it is a tab character so you can just uh, also specify in that case a separator 
so we need something like space in this case instead of this you know tab character so what we can do is uh, we can specify the option as minus s and you can just specify space as the delimiter and in case you have a pure uh, csv file which is uh, separated by commas or something you can just anyway add commas also so in this example since it is a you know space separated csv file you know you can just try this option but uh, and you know <laughs> and uh, once it is done actually you can just do an import into a database uh, you can just uh, you know uh, assume these are the you know employee id codes or something like that so, but there is also an another uh, interesting use case say for example you want to figure out a specific uh, you know uh, record you know at which instance it is occurring you know which nth record it you know occurring so in that case you can just uh, do some sort of you know grep say for example an employee joe you know you can just do grep joe and in this case you can see how neatly it shows you know it is occurring uh, this particular record is occurring at you know third line it is almost the third entry so this is how you know it can be used in you know some real world use cases uh, you know and nl command is quite handy but although it is not so frequently used it can be certainly used in these kind of uh, use cases so that's all guys for this episode i hope you guys liked watching this video please do hit the like button in case if you like this video guys and please do subscribe to this channel Thank you. Have a nice day.